Well, hey there, guys. This is Bubble Round Tree Outdoors. I'm your host, Wade Rush. We're gonna load up some three and a half inch double alt buckshot, Hammer of Thor. Stand by. And this reloading video is brought to you in part by Ballistic Props. Okay, I've gotten a lot of requests from guys that had the Super Mags, the Mossberg 835s, 935s, the, uh, the Benelli Super Mags, all of your Super Mags out there. Now, there's a pile of them. And uh, a lot of these boys can hunt deer with, uh, with buckshot, especially here in the south. And so they were wondering how I loaded up this three and a half inch buckshot. Well, Hammer got a Benelli Supernova uh, at the, before the tail end of this last season. And Josh picked up a Mossberg 835 Super Turkey that he will be using well, for deer and for, for other things. So we've got a couple of three and a half inch uh, Magnums here in the family now. So it gave me an excuse to start reloading this stuff. My, I got my Mech 600 Junior here set on its highest setting highest setting on the rod highest setting on the base the last hole on either one of them line that up and tighten it up and it's set for the height for three and a half inch magnum but you are going to be limited on your machine because you don't have a rammer uh, a seating rod primer seating rod that's long enough unless you extend it down with washers or, uh, or a longer bolt and the same with your resizing tube and all that is not going to be long enough but I've got a universal decapper resizer here so it doesn't matter about that so all I need basically is some way to uh, seat the primer which I've got another I've got the 650 over here the old 650 is set up for three inch magnums and I can still get my three and a half inch under that to seat the primer so the challenges you're going to run into with the machine is either finding a way to adapt all the other uh, your other attachments to where it will work on these monster hulls here or you're going to have to have another setup or get you a decapper like this see this universal decapper I can get the three and a half up under it decap resized ready to go okay remember the 600 or I, I'm not sure how the 650 uh, the new 650 mark 5 I'm not sure about them because Mick hasn't uh, sent me a new machine yet so uh, all I've got are these old, old machines here. And, but I know my old 600 Junior on its highest setting is set up for three and a half. At least it will, uh, I can get a pre-crimp and a final crimp on the three and a half inch loads. All right, Lyman has a lot of data on three and a half inch. So I'm only gonna show you one, one hammer of four load that we, uh, that we put together. In, the, uh, in your factory Remington Nitro and uh, most all the other ones with the 33 caliber double alt, we get 18 pellets in, uh, in this big old round. But it's, uh, I'm pushing it with 39 grains of blue dot. That worked, that just worked great, so I just didn't mess with anything else. So there were some other powders that worked pretty good, but the blue dot worked the best. 39 grains of blue dot with an X12X gas seal on top of your powder and FC-12 ballistic products, fiber cushion wad, half inch on top of your seal, 18 pellets of 33 caliber double alt stacked by threes, and ballistic products, original buffer in the blue, the blue can. All right, let's put one together. All right. CCI Magnum Primer. CCI Magnum Primer. Uh, we've also tried it with Fiocchi, their standard Fiocchi 616 209, and it worked excellent. Okay, if you got Fiocchi primers, they'll work just fine. We've been using the CCI Magnum Primers in these hot, uh, big powder charges just to give it that little bit extra boost. And the Lyman manual, I'm going by the powder charge I got out of the Lyman Shot Shell manual and using the primer that they suggested to use with Remington Nitro one-piece hulls, okay? 
a lot of people are scared to death to give you that data on the video. What I'm giving you is just like I always say, this is Wade's data. This is the stuff that I use to put in my shotgun to what works well for me. And I'll let you guys do what you want to with that, okay? But be careful. This stuff can kill you if you mess up. can hurt you up too. All right, enough of that stuff. CCI Magnum Primer. Like I said, I have my old 650 here set up where I can seat the primer. Set up the low three inch, but the three and a half will just clear the rammer. Got a primer seated in here. Okay, now, I was gonna tell you guys that Blue Dot is coming back on the market. Hallelujah, thank the Lord. This is my favorite Magnum powder right here, is Blue Dot. Alliant Blue Dot, great stuff. Been using this stuff longer than anything else that, uh, that I load with, all right? So that's why we're just gonna use this powder today. And it's going to be a level 3.4 CC Lee Dipper throws approximately 39 grains of blue dot powder. 39 grains blue dot powder. All right. Ballistic Products X12X Gas Seal. Ballistic Products Half Inch FC12 Fiber Cushion Wad. It's waxed on top side, not on the bottom. Great fiber wad for buckshot. See, like I said, these rammer it will not go all the way down, so I have to have something else to make sure that all this is tamped down on top of your powder good. Like I said, if you don't hear it rattling, you're okay. All right. Now we're gonna get out 18 pellets, 33 caliber double alt. That's a pretty dang big hand for you guys. We, uh, we patterned hammers Benelli with it back while deer season was still in. And uh, we put 16 of 18 in the lower half of a, uh, of a sheet of newspaper at 50 meters. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They're falling right in place. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. And she comes right to the top. All right. And now I just cover these pellets. I'm not exactly sure what, what it weighs, but it's the ballistic products, the BP original in the blue can. This is the 3.4 cc lee dipper and it's going to probably be just a little bit more than that i used a full dipper and this is about a half it actually took a dipper in about a third 3.4 cc dipper in about a third and the pellets are all covered all right all right we got it started absolutely beautiful and we have a big three and a half inch round that hits like the hammer of Thor I'm telling you that right now the, it went about 1100 foot per second thousand to 100 foot per second through the chronograph is what we got out of this and uh, I'm all, I'm hoping I've got some footage but I don't know if I got any footage we just may have to shoot it again guys but um there are several other loads that will work with this but this is the best that we got uh, out of the all around. I've got an extended range load that we're working on with this that, that is, is promising. This by far was the best performing round that we did with the three and a half inch right there. All right, guys, I hope that this helps out. Wade Rush or Bubble Round Tree Outdoors. I'll be back with another one soon, guys. I promise. Bye bye. Hey, you want to Bubble Round, round tree, tree Outdoors? That's right. Same spot the lineman was here. 
rolls on. Six inches left. About a half an inch from the first shot. Three inches left. Woo, baby, you can feel that one. 